Hello everybody, this is your friendly neighborhood Lisa Foxy and welcome back to the gameplay of Yakuza Like a Dragon. You guys really enjoy this game and I so... Uh, I enjoy it too. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and continue. You guys are almost catching up to me in my other chapters here, which is mostly uh, this that we're going to aim back, but I won't spoil anything else since you guys kind of saw a little bit of the spoil there. But anyways, let's carry on, yes? So let's make sure we catch up and how we continue on in here. <laughs> Alright, so we need to go home. We got a new friend here. And, um... I'm gonna warm up with these guys. Not a loser! Straight up. You're in it now. Watch this. I just love the music. Have fun with this. Uh, oh man. The enemy is man, if I if I like overpower myself even better in here, that that'd be great. I'm having no problem just coming in here and just beating him up like so. Okay. Oh man, I thought you would hit harder than that. Oh man, here he comes. Oh, he missed. Hey. There we go. Yes. Alright, alright. Okay, so, see what's over here. Red Claw. Actually, it's probably best I check the map and see where the heck we going. Alright, so we gotta go... Well, I guess I could've... Well, this works. No, oh, this works. It's fine. It's totally fine. I'm jaywalking, I'm sorry! This would be totally illegal in Japan, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Cockroach. Break it on! Cool! Come on. Hit him. Well, that's, it's alright. Oh, two? Two? Okay. Alright. Alright, so I'm gonna heal up, of course. And then let us carry on from there. Well, we've got a job to do tomorrow. Better make sure we don't oversleep. Okay. Yeah, good night. Alright. Hey. Alright, let's head over to... Hamako-san's restaurant. To the restaurant. She said it was just down the river, as I recall. Over the river and through the wood. Okay. Sleep a bit more, Hamako-san. I'm having the place clean. I need everyone out till tonight. How many customers did you get yesterday? 
I don't know, at least five. Where were you? I'm exhausted. Small restaurant, huh? <laughs> they cater to a very specific appetite. Damn, it's too damp to even dust this thing. Hey, Jiban. Can you deal with these tissues? You do it. It's your job. <sighs> Bodily fluids really aren't my thing. Cut me some slack. <sighs> you want to get paid or not? Would you rather say broke and homeless? No, but it doesn't mean I don't have standards. <sighs> don't be a diva. all the racket. Oh, you don't know them? It's Bleach Japan. Prostitution's got to go! Leave now! Get out of Eijin Cho! Yeah! What's Bleach Japan? It's a non-profit group. What you'd call an NPO. Been around 15 years. Their slogan is, Bleaching the Gray Zone's White. You know how some things fall into the gray area, neither black nor white? Like things that are technically illegal, but cops look the other way because they're victimless crimes. They don't like that. They want to crack down on all crime, whether it hurts someone or not. They want to bleach the gray so that it's white. This town is just full of metaphors, huh? The group's active all over the country now. Makes sense, considering their founder is Ryo Aoki. And that is... Uh, he's the governor of Tokyo? Oh, the one that was cleaning up the city. With that, uh... Komrocho 3K plan. Wow, you actually got one right. Well, that plan made Aoki real popular. The media adored him before he was governor. But they love him even more now. He resigned from Bleach Japan when he went into politics. But he still sings their praises. The young voters eat it up. Okay, but why are they protesting right outside this building? This establishment here is registered as a restaurant. But you won't find a speck of food on the second floor. If you're lucky, a waitress might bring you some tea. Of course, you don't pay for that tea. You pay for something else. Let's just call it what it is. A brothel. Everybody in this neighborhood knows it. This is crime, pure and simple, happening right out in the open for decades now. The women who work here have been brainwashed. They don't realize what they're getting into. And once they're in, they can't get out. We demand an end to this human tragedy. We demand it! Oh, shut up, you whiners. These women are just working hard at their jobs. So working hard excuses a crime? You could learn from them. What right do you have to tell anyone how to live? And why be so dishonest? Registering yourselves as a restaurant? I'll tell you why. It's because the truth is so terrible! No. It's because grown-ups do things they don't want to, to protect people. The only people you're protecting are your loan officer and your debt collectors! You ass. You ever consider why a woman might do this job? Because they have needs. Some are caring for their parents. Some have little kids. This is a way for them to support their families. Did you hear that? Not only are they criminals, they're raising children! How can those children turn out normal? At best, they'll grow up hating their completely unfit parents! They are good parents. They keep their children happy and healthy, and that's what truly matters. Show me one, then. Show me a child who's happy being raised by a whore! You aren't even trying to understand. You're just being an asshole. Leave us alone! 
There aren't any happy kids like that, are there? No child wants a prostitute for a mother. I never minded it. Huh? <laughs> you all came here because you want to get rid of the trash. I got that right? Well, here it is. Get ready to catch. Wait, hold on. Wouldn't that be the... Take this! Not bad, Ichiban. <laughs> My dude, Ichiban's like, yeah. <laughs> oh man, I just love it. It's been two or three years since Bleach Japan started protesting in in the in Jicho. <laughs> Sorry if I'm saying it wrong. Now they're marching around almost every week. A lot of places have shut down thanks to them. Wow. But holding out for all the girls you've got here, right? Most of them don't have Japanese citizenship. They're the children or grandchildren of illegal immigrants. If I shut down, where would they go? If I were being honest, they'd probably fall in some leeches who skim off most of their earnings. <laughs> so I do what I can to protect myself, protect them myself, you know. So think you can keep it up? Who knows? I know the place, but I'm just leasing the land. If the owner told me to leave, that'd be the end of it. Hmm? Hmm? You come back for more trash, fellas? True. You really did a number on us this afternoon. You're still out protesting at this hour? Do you have... Do you even have a permit? No. This isn't a protest. Leech Japan helps... Downtrodden... And the weak, too. <laughs> Sometimes that means giving people like these guys our support. They were just hanging around ham hamburger joint in the front of the station. They'd lived a cheap, processed food their whole lives. Oh, they lived on it. Okay, my bad. <laughs> they don't even know what a good meal tastes like. That can stunt your growth. So, we're trying to give them the opportunity here. Tonight, Bleach, Bleach, Bleach Japan will cover the bill. Oh, yeah? What are you getting at? Oh... I just thought I'd take these boys to feast on some high-class cooking from this fine establishment. So, that's your anger angle. You really thought this through. Yo. Hold up. What's the point of taking, um, taking him somewhere with no food? That's exactly what he wants to hear. My permit says I run a restaurant, so I can't refuse. What are you gonna do then? I guess I'll feed them until the money runs out. <laughs> then I suppose my part is at the end here, and I'll leave you to enjoy your meal. That is, if you have any food to serve. Looking forward to hearing all about it. Goodbye. Bye for now then. Oh. So what's on the menu tonight, old lady? <laughs> I'm afraid all I've got left are some stale crackers, 10,000 yen each. Eat up. Uh huh? Huh? Yeah, freaking with us, Granny? Oh, not a fan of crackers? I have some cookies. I think they're a little moldy, though. You call that food? 
Well, I wouldn't need it, but I think it's appropriate for the occasion. Oi. Hey, you take us for fools? Hold on. Calm down, fellas. We're perfectly allowed to be dissatisfied customers. Yeah. Get some real food. Hey. Oh, shut up. Stop complaining and get out of here. Soka. Oh, I see. You're saying this place doesn't have anything to eat. Guess we'll tell Bleach Japan guy who gave us the money then. <laughs> You're gonna pretend that wasn't your goal from the start? The sob story was thin. A paper. You guys got hired and messed with her business, so get, get out of here. Ow, oh, hey! The guy's getting violent with us. You hit us first, so consider this self-defense. Oh. Beat the shiz out of them. Okay, get there. Not a loser. Yeah. Come on now. Check this out. Knock him out. What? Yeah. You're in it now. What's I'll this? Have fun with this. Yeah. Oh man. Free hit, huh? I am hitting B, I know what I'm doing, but oh boy. Gotta hold it together. Alright. I don't think I need to do that. Hold on. Okay. Get rid of him. Nice leveling up timing. Hell yeah. All right. Uh, how can an old guy be so strong? Uh, whatever. I'll see you around, Grandpa. You kids have a lot of spunk. Why don't you use it to help your parents for once? I never thought Bleach Japan would resort to this type of thing. Bunch of dreamers. They really think they can bleach the gray zones? Come on. <laughs> they swagger around like they've got some noble purpose. But all they really want are donations. And let's face it, what they're doing is just plain bully. <sighs> Whatever happened to good manners? Yeah, well, it's pretty late now. Let's go home. Sure. Sorry you had to rescue me twice. Don't sweat it. Call us if you need cleaners again. Hold on a minute. Hmm? You two are homeless, right? Yeah. Well, here's a proposition. What if you just lived here, in one of the rooms upstairs? What? Huh? Really? I mean, that'd be a huge help. Do you even have a room to spare? Don't the girls need them to work in? Well, I'm not making the opera out of complete selflessness. If 
you live here, you get something called a right of residence, which would benefit me. What's a right of residence? It means that you can legally assert that you have the right to live somewhere. I don't get it. How would that benefit you? Well, I live in a different building. This is my business, but since I don't live here, I don't get that right of residence. Oh, I think I get it. Mm-hmm. I'm leasing this building, you see? And if Bleach Japan really wants to get us evicted, they might pressure the owner of the property. Wouldn't put it past them. But, if someone here has right of residence, we can fight back. Once you have that right, the owner can't just evict you for no reason. Oh, so us living in the place would be a line of defense for you. Exactly. You get it. Sounds like a great deal. But you don't mind a couple bums living here? Well, you two are really my only choice of renters. The women who work here aren't citizens. So, I can't enter into a lease contract with them. But boys, that's not the only reason I'm making this offer. I'm impressed with what you two did. Sounds good to me. I don't mind being your live-in security guard. Oh, wonderful. Just promise you won't break the lease. I want your eyes on my shop for a long time. Till Bleach Japan finds someone else to buy. You got it. Thanks a lot. <laughs> look, Ichiban. A roof. A real roof. <laughs> yeah, look, man, it's freaking amazing. This is our castle. A roof, four walls, and a soft throne. Actually, this throne's kind of damp. Nothing wrong with that, is there? I'm pretty sure it's not water. Well, just think of all the history you're sleeping with every time you drift off on that mat. Always a silver lining with you, isn't there? And then again, I guess that's how you got us here in the first place. Hmm. Thank you, Ichiban. Come on. I should be the one thanking you. I'd be dead and rotting in a trash can if you didn't save me. Hey, why'd you quit nursing anyway? <laughs> I don't know. You must have been good if you saved me. Truth is, I was smuggling drugs out of the hospital and selling them. The money was pretty good. Eventually, I expanded to dealing drugs from overseas. But I got too big. And it all came crashing down. I lost my nursing license. If that wasn't obvious enough. Yeah, man. What were you thinking? Kind of a boneheaded move. What? You don't think I regret it? Okay, well, why not start over? The whole nurse thing is probably out, but you can apply your medical skills to something else. Easier said than done. What about you? You got another job in mind? Uh, uh, not really. I've been walking in someone else's footsteps for years, and now they're washed away. I don't know where to go now that I can't see them. I'm pretty lost. You talking about your patriarch? Yeah. A guy like you, you can find something. What makes you so sure? I'm over 40, you know? Weren't you the one just telling me I could turn it all around and find something? Yeah, my bad. Sorry. <sighs> Life is work. Hmm. Hey, tell me this. What'd you want to be when you were a kid? Uh... Oh... <laughs> you really want to know? Come on, don't build it up. Spit it out. Okay, I'll tell you. When I was a kid, all I wanted to be was a hero. Huh? A hero? What do you mean? You know, a hero who could save people. 
like in Dragon Quest. <laughs> the video game? <laughs> How would you do that? <laughs> Dude, come on. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. What? I can have a dream, can I? You don't have to laugh at it. A dream is what keeps you going. For me, anyway. Ichiban, you're right. Uh, uh, I am? Yeah, so I see you do it. Become a hero. Just like you wanted. Come on, I was just a dumb kid when I wanted that. It was silly. <laughs> it's not like you got any other goals right now. So why not go after the first one you had? Live your life's dream. You're crazy. It's not like being a hero puts a roof over your head. Sure, it's not a job. But... If the hero destroys lots of slimes in the game, he levels up fast, right? You see what I'm saying? Leveling up in life. That could work. Yeah. Hell yeah. Why not become a hero at 40, right? It ain't the best age to start grinding, but... <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. I'm ready to level up. Let's start a brand new age of heroes! Yeah, I'm with you, Ichiban. Let's have a toast to our new era in our new home! Yeah, to the heroes of tomorrow! Cheers! Cheers. Please, let me go. I swear, I'll tear that fucking bar down. Look, I know I messed up. I, I don't even want the money anymore. J just give me another chance. How about this? I could kill the two guys who got in the way. I already know how to do it. Oh, you'd like that, yeah? You want them dead, don't you? Don't you? You <laughs> Uh, wait! I didn't catch that! I should have known not to rely on trash like you. Wow. <laughs> that just straight off the point. Okay. No mercy. Oof. All right. You guys are almost there. Chapter 4. <laughs> so I cut myself off. <laughs> Make sure you stash some of that cash, okay? Thank Bye -bye. you. Have a See good you night. tonight. one way to say hi. <laughs> so, you actually know this guy? Yeah, he used to be a Kanagawa police detective. Detective? Yep. Then I went to work for the driver's license center. How in the world did you find me? 
I figured you didn't make it out of that building alive. Oh, I was fine. Uh, well, not completely. I uh, lost my job. What? And I was just a few months shy of securing the maximum pension payment. Well, that stinks. Also, does that mean you found this place all on your own? <laughs> Remember how I gave you that smartphone? Yeah. I wish you would have called before you just showed up. Oh, I did, but your phone was dead. Well, I uh, guess when a guy gets shot and left for dead, charging his phone isn't exactly priority one. Yeah, I can't say I cared much about the phone. Well, sure, I get it. But when it's completely dead, I can't track you. Track me? With GPS? Oh, right. <laughs> I guess you wouldn't know what that is. Dude, what the fuck? Smartphones have a system that pinpoints the phone's location. That's GPS. You can put apps on a phone to send its coordinates elsewhere. That's what this guy did. Get it? Uh... Kind of? <laughs> you know, you never said why you got fired. Ah, uh, a whole sheet of charges. Breaking and entering, assault, interference with a public servant. I guess I should be glad I'm so unimportant it all got dropped. Uh, was any of that my fault? Of course it was. How did it happen? Are you aware that Kasuga was shot in Kamurocho? Yeah. Sad story. Did he mention it was at a meeting of Omi Alliance officers who were in bed with Tokyo PD? I was the one who snuck Kasuga into that meeting. Well, Tokyo PD had some choice words about that. Absolutely disgraceful, two of them. Kanagawa police agreed. They gave me the axe and themselves a nice pat on the back. I'm sorry, Adachi-san. Well, you can make it up to me by helping me out again. I haven't given up on nailing the commissioner. Who's that? He means the police commissioner. Important guy. Why him? He took bribes from the Omi Alliance while they took over Kamurocho. I'm sure he did. But I still need proof. Okay. And how's Ichiban supposed to help with that? By getting me closer to Arakawa. The only person I know of with ties to the commissioner. Kasuga used to be one of his boys. At least, up until the man put a bullet in his chest. Not up until. I still am. You need more self-respect. Why do you care so much about exposing the Commissioner's corruption? Well, it's not out of the goodness of my heart. It's revenge I'm after. Revenge? I was gonna say that something, That story but... started 20 years ago. <laughs> A rich old couple had been murdered during a home invasion. The suspect was a neighbor with priors, a guy named Kasumi. I made the arrest myself. But before the trial, a witness claimed to have seen Kasumi in a different place at the time of the murder. I interviewed the witness, and the alibi checked out. My perp was innocent. Huh. What'd you do? I reported it to HQ, of course. Kasumi needed to be released immediately. I take it he wasn't, though? Well, all of us detectives and officers knew the alibi was pretty much airtight. But the captains were skeptical. They questioned the witness over and over, and they were relentless. Finally, he said he wasn't actually sure he'd seen the suspect after all. Why'd he backtrack like that? He was coerced. The chief of Kanagawa police, Juro Horinouchi. That's who the commissioner is. But what was Horinouchi's reason? Well, by that time, he'd been offered a transfer to Tokyo police. The last thing he wanted was a big scandal. Which is what it would have been if Kusumi, who'd been jailed for months, turned out to be innocent. That reveal would have put his Tokyo PD offer at stake. He couldn't have that. So, he resorted to witness intimidation. Man, what the hell? Well, he tried to justify it to us. Said if the guy really was innocent, there'd be other evidence of that. But there wasn't. And in the end, Kasumi was convicted. 
sentenced to 17 years. His wife and child were still reeling from it when he hung himself from prison. Where was Hori Nouchi when that happened? In his cushy new Tokyo PD position, playing dumb. <laughs> Makes me sick. Kanagawa's had this problem for a while. Too many cops in the EG and Three's pockets. They're always teetering on the edge of scandal. So everybody who can is always trying to get transferred. Especially the higher ups. Rats leaving a sinking ship. And some were willing to convict an innocent man to save their careers? That's fucked up. Well, I felt the same way back when I was a young rookie. So I leaked the original alibi to the media. Whoa. Yeah, but unfortunately, Horinouchi wasn't as clueless as most bureaucrats are. He found out about the leak immediately through his buddies in the public security division. The info I gave them never saw the light of day. And next thing you know, I'm stamping driver's licenses. Not sure why I was transferred instead of fired. Horinouchi must have figured he was safe. And now he's the police commissioner. Now, if I were a smarter guy, I'd just forget the whole damn thing. But when I get to the pearly gates, I want to be able to look Kasumi in the eyes. Wow, you boys are talkative. What are you yakking on about? Good morning, Hamako-san. Uh, this guy's a former Kanagawa- Don't good morning me. It's already 10 o'clock. You're all supposed to be at Hello Work looking for jobs, not lazing around here. Oh shit, that's right. If we don't get there fast, all the good jobs will be gone. Sorry, Adachi-san. We gotta go find some work. I'll go with you. Huh? Why? I'm as unemployed and broke as you now. Broke? Don't you have savings? After working all those years? Nah. I didn't save a yen. I thought I'd have my sweet-ass retirement pension. Never was much of a saver, honestly. And as a kid, I used to crack open my New Year's money. <laughs> yeah, the pension was all I had. And it's gone now. Shit! You spent it all. <laughs> they let someone so irresponsible issue driver's licenses? Hey, part of it is just bad luck. It's not my fault booze and women are expensive hobbies. Come on, let's get over to Hello Work already. So now we got one of our team back. So now he job changes from deadbeat to freelancer. Alrighty, well that's better. Than better than nothing. The Dachi, many years as a detective, have given him a professional grade defense against rage, fear, and sleep. Alright. I think. Uh, got a mark. Yeah. And, and. I don't think I have any decent gear yet? Right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, I, well now I know. Right. Didn't hurt to check. That's alright. Because I know I get better gear. Soon. Very soon. Hmm? Hmm? What's that thing? What's oh, a bat? Something stuck in the ground. I think it's a bat. Why the hell would there be a bat stuck in the ground? <laughs> Who knows? Probably some kind of lame prank. I just. Uh... Sup? Hey, what are you doing? Isn't it obvious? I'm trying to pull this damn bat out. I bet if I. I bet if we ponded, we could get a few hundred yen. Uh... No dice? Damn. Yeah. It's really stuck in there. Dachi-chan, you're strong. 
You give it a shot. Listen. Sure. Let me add it. Ah. Ah. Oh. I'm tired of this shit. Now it won't budge. It must be pretty wedged in there. You two are pathetic. I'll show you how it's done. Okay. Oh. Oh man. Whoa. Oh snap! He's got the power. He's Link. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! I'm the man. Really? Damn. Credit where it's due, I guess. But what do you uh, do any differently than I did? <laughs> <laughs> I bet only the chosen hero could pull it out. Oh, of course. I forgot. We have a hero in our myth. A hero. Him. You know how in RPGs there's always some holy sword only the hero can pick up. Kusanagi here has been on a quest to become a hero since he was a kid. Uh-huh. I mean, kinda. Oh, well. That dirty old bat isn't exactly a holy sword. Leave it to really to crush the fancy. The holy sword of the hero. Huh. Well, I'll be the savior of this world. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the spirit, Ichiban. You actually look the part. Hey. If you knuckleheads are done role-playing, shall we go find some damn jobs? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No. Hey, guys. Having a good time? Well, sorry. We're dad hunters. So, make this simple fork over all your cash. We don't actually have any. Three middle-aged dudes and no cash? Yeah, right. You'll need to lie better than that, you old bastards. <laughs> Damn, the truth really hurts when punks call you out on it. What's up? Hey, Mr. Hero. Feel like using that, be using that holy sword to smite some monsters? <laughs> Uh, huh. Good idea. Come on. Whoa, they transformed. No. Oh. Whoa. Hey. What just happened? Did you see those guys freaking transform? Huh? What are you raving about? Uh, you know this isn't a video game, right? <laughs> are we Come breaking the fourth Earth. wall? Hmm. No one else sees this. <laughs> well, whatever. <laughs> At least it's more fun for me. Yeah. Oh man, we breaking the fourth wall. Alright. Watch this. Have fun with this. Yeah. Cool. Mega swing. Oh shoot! Woo! I thought that wasn't gonna work for me, but ah. all right, that's fine. Right. Whoa! Dang! That didn't do nothing. Wow. Alrighty. Let's go. Yeah, God. Hey, here we go. 
And we're gonna deal with this guy. Because we can. Finishing touch. Bam! <laughs> Heck yeah. Oh! Over the- Oh! <laughs> oh man, I never- Wow! Was not expecting that. Alright. <laughs> I feel the stats going up. Moving up in the world. Yes. <laughs> oh man, that was funny. Ah, fucking hell. What's even the point of shaking down guys as broke as us? For real though, neither of you saw them transform? Not even a little bit? Huh? I, I swear, they freaking transformed! Your imagination is officially off the rails, man. But it seems so real. Uh, how could it just be imagination? I mean, as long as we win, I don't care how delusional you are. Yeah, I think it's just all that hero talk of yours. Makes you see trolls and golems everywhere. You think I'm crazy, don't you? Well, as far as I'm concerned, it takes a certain kind of crazy to want to be a hero anyway. Hell, I don't care if you wear chainmail around town and you feel like it'll give you some oomph in a fight. <laughs> Maybe I will. All right, fellow adventurers, our great journey has begun. I am, oh, I am now a hero, okay. Enemies throughout the city will change their appearance according to Kusanagi's wild imagination. Oh sure, Mr. Hero. Lead on to the bountiful coffers of Hello Work. Yeah, this party is sorely lacking in coin. Pretty soon we won't be able to afford any booze. I mean, uh, mm, medicinal herbs. Yeah, we need to grind for some cash, huh? Just like in Dragon Quest. Life really is an RPG when you think about it. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Alrighty. You're going down. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Weak. Powerful bat. Though I want him to be, of course, at least level 10. What the heck? Thought I saw something going on there, but. Cool. Someone level 10. Let's do a mega swing. Okay, well, that's fine. That's right. Come on in here. And then... Oh, okay. okay. Alright, alright. So itchy. I don't mind beating up these guys because it's it's gonna be important eventually in here. Whoa! What the hell's going on there? Oh, this is a freaking dump. Uh, supposedly it's a pawn shop. Huh? Pawn shop? Looks more like a hoarder's house. Are they really getting customers like that? Hmm, I've never seen anyone buy anything from here. It's such an eyesore. Officials from the public office have had to come talk with the owner a couple times now. The owner said it was all merchandise, and that he'd sue if they tried anything. They haven't been able to reach an agreement since. Merchandise, huh? Oh, it smells terrible, and it attracts all sorts of bugs, too. It's a nightmare. Oh, I wish they'd do something about it. 
Definitely would be rough to have this in the neighborhood. Hopefully it won't be long. Yeah, that would be a problem. Alright. Actually, I should, I should have marked on the map anyways where I had to go. But I mean, I'm not too far from it, so... So while I'm running into bad guys, at least I'm taking advantage of leveling at the same time. This guy's got a shield! Okay. Alright, so what I want to try is Pyro here. Probably not that much damage, but let's go ahead. Oh, okay, not bad, not bad. We'll do it. Beat him up! Bam! 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 Alright. Oh, what? Come on. Alright, alright, alright. Okay, so... Almost to our destination. How did it go for you guys? <sighs> I'm fudged. Another day of no work. Same here. Damn. Oh! Okay. The suit was taken care of, but a lot of these people are pretty rough around the edges. Okay. What do you expect? Finding work isn't easy these days. Well, don't let it get to you. Just gotta be patient. Hmm, wait. Isn't that a dachi? You're right. It's a dachi. Uh-oh. Friends of yours? <sighs> no. Can't say I remember them. <laughs> like hell you don't. You ruined our lives. Did I? I take it I addressed you at one point or another. You weren't allowed to forget the Yokohama Pink Panthers, Jicho's top burger, uh, burgerly ring. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, that takes me back, man. How long has it been since uh, I busted you guys? Twenty years. We've got criminal, criminal wreck. Criminal records now, <laughs> jerk. <laughs> oh man. And now we can't even get, can't even work. You're gonna take some responsibility for that. Hold on. Hey, it's not Adachi's fault. You guys got busted. Uh -huh. You a cop, bro? Nah. Just here to find some work. Hey. Come on. Let's leave the guys to stew and get out of here. Hold on, Adachi. Why are you looking for work? Because I lost my job at a station, obviously. Uh. You quit? That means you can't arrest us anymore, right? <laughs> no matter how many times we hit you. Oh, great. <sighs> <sighs> you that bent on revenge? Why not just kind of effort and put into your, you know, into your job hunt. Shut the hell up! We'll beat the shiz out of all three of you. Yeah, bring it on. Wow. Okay. I can do auto battle. And I can turn it on and off. Okay. But I'm not gonna do that. Take your best shot. And in fact, I'm gonna heal. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Alright, that's how we're gonna start. Use reckless charge from there. What the heck? That didn't work out. Well, that's alright. Ooh. Interesting. 
Alright, let's do... Fire. Fire roll him up. Weak against fire! Oh, okay. I enjoy the tag team. Let's do it. Yep. Bam. See ya. Let's <laughs> go. Just finish him off. There we go. I actually thought that was gonna be enough. All right. Oh, and then he leveled up both of them. All right. Nice. 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 Nice indeed. So, <laughs> full health. And MP. Damn you. We'll get you back for this. Don't you forget us. This time. Bye. Talk about taking it personally. You arrested so many people. You don't even remember what they all look like? Adachi san? It's all ancient history now. But I didn't have to deal with shiz like that while I wore a badge. Wonder if that's gonna be my new norm. <sighs> For real? I don't want to be anywhere near you then. <laughs> <laughs> Let them come. I'll take as many as they can throw at me. Well, hello work awaits. Next, number 68. Yes. Yeah. The name's Ichiban Kasuga, 42 years old. I'm strong, I've got a home, but I need a job. Help a guy out. All right. Tone it down. No need for theatrics. Huh? Weren't you the janitor? No. Oh. Aren't you the homeless guy I sent over at the bar for a sidekick? Oh, you got a roof over your head now, huh? Thanks. All oh, thanks to that job you helped us get. Glad to hear. So, why are you on that side now? What do you mean? This is my job. Director? You're the director of this place? Director! Think you can find some work for us? Hey. Oh, you made some friends. Yeah. I'm. <laughs> Party's got three people in it now. <laughs> Party, huh? <laughs> you play games. Kasagasa kun. Yeah, I'm. A big Dragon Quest fan. Dragon Quest? That's a good one. I played it myself. Anyways, let's see what job we have for the hero and his return. I mean, routine here. We are in your debt, good sir. That said, I just want to warn you I made an exception last time. I was trying to see if a couple of homeless guys could stand on their own feet. But now that we're doing this legitimately, I have to follow the rules. Hmm? What rules? The golden rule. I can only assign you jobs that you are qualified for. Even in Dragon Quest, some jobs are locked until the character reaches a certain level or skill, right? Think of it like that. Life is just a big RPG when you get down to it. Sure. So, what, what would our current experience level let us change into? Hmm. An ex 
con a bum and a fire cop. Here's the best I can do for you right now. Special bathhouse? Oh. So soap lamp. Hey. Hold on. Maybe that's the best you can get these two, but I've got years of service to lean on. According to your documentation, you've never been married. What? What's that got to do with anything? You're telling me that you've gone this long as a lonely single man without resorting to paying for it. This seems right up your alley. Huh? How dare you? I mean, it's not even that illegal. Anyway, what you boys need is to build up some work history. I don't think this bathhouse gig is going to be a walk in the park. The owner there is a little eccentric, and it's totally up to him if he takes you on. Takes you on board. Good luck. Hey. Okay. Let's go nail this interview. So All right. Itchy. So our next episode definitely will be heading into Soaplands. And hopefully you guys enjoyed so far uh, of the gameplay of Yakuza Like a Dragon. But uh, you guys are getting so close to me. I am so excited to continue on the chapter with you guys. So until then, you guys stay safe, take it easy, and remember to hit that like button and subscribe so that way I see you guys in the next episode. So until then, peace guys, and stay awesome. Woof.